Square Enix's latest excursion in the realm of MMOs is a consequential one indeed. Bearing the weighty honor of also being a numbered installment in the venerable series, Final Fantasy XIV enters a crowded market, already replete with great games. Will this long-awaited MMO make a splash like its predecessor did so many years ago, or is it a black mark on its lineage? Let us give the bard something to see. Final Fantasy XIV takes you into the world of Eorzea, where mercenaries and soldiers have traded their past careers for new lives as adventurers. The tale you experience varies depending on the starting city you pick, but in spite of a somewhat intriguing premise, the narrative component of XIV is weak. You're kept away from the central plotline for huge intervals in between levels, and your day-to-day -day activities are rarely backed up with meaningful tales. There's plenty of backstory to read up on, but the game really lacks a strong story-driven mechanic. The actual story elements are among the game's sparse redeeming qualities. We just wish both their frequency and quantity were up to notch. Something's wrong. The air here is so heavy. Despite the fact that this isn't Square Enix's first stab at an MMO, Final Fantasy XIV falls flat at almost every turn. The most egregious error is that for a game this complex, Square Enix doesn't take the time to teach you the basics. We can certainly appreciate games that let you discover their finer points on your own, but 14 takes this to an absurd degree. The green wrath is awoke. The spirit comes. Though there's emphasis on picking a job discipline, it's hardly set in stone. You can change jobs on a whim by equipping an item of that class. It's a relatively simple process that, in theory, could have profound effects on the customability of your experience. The game never explains how this system works, however, and this is a reoccurring theme. There's also a fatigue system in place that caps your experience if you stick to one job. It's meant to encourage switching between jobs, but for those who like to stick to one class, it's a major hurdle. Hit them harder! Once you do manage to find your bearings, you'll discover that most of the activities the game has to offer involve running around or grinding in some fashion. You'll waste inordinate amounts of time traversing each zone, either because you have no choice, mounts or other quick travel options have yet to be implemented, or because the alternative is just too costly. There's a teleportation mechanic in place that lets you instantly warp to locations you've already visited, but your use of it is limited by a sort of teleport currency known as Anima. You'll burn through it quickly and it regenerates at an alarmingly slow rate, so get those running shoes ready to trek through the vast, bland, and relatively empty zones. Delving into the quest system reveals even more flaws. While there are some unique aspects to its setup, there's a cap on how many quests you can take on within a time period in excess of a whole day, and the time it takes for the quota to reset is unusually long. Unlike most other MMOs that let you tackle as many quests as you want, 14 applies arbitrary limits, forcing you to frequently seek less fun alternatives. This wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that the remaining activities boil down to straight grinding. It's backwards and out of place in this day and age. But it doesn't end there. I can explain. The game's economy abandons the concept of an auction house in favor of player-run market zones. And there's one gaping flaw in the system. You can't search for specific items. Rather, you have to manually scan each and every NPC in one of the dozens of market wards scattered throughout the game. This is only one of the bafflingly obvious omissions. There's no mail system in place yet, and the social elements are half-cooked. Sure, you can still party up, form link shells, and send tells to friends, but the interface is atrocious. And good luck figuring out if your buddies are online if they aren't already on your friends list, which incidentally requires that you add them while in close physical proximity. Even the common task of searching for a specific player is a needless chore. The feeling, my dear, is neutral. <gasps> Rather than learn from past mistakes and incorporate what are inarguably advancements in the genre, Square Enix seems to have designed Final Fantasy XIV in a vacuum and released it halfway before it was done. Well, take a look around. It's obvious, isn't it? It just simply isn't worth the hassle. <laughs> Everything in 14 moves along at a snail's pace. Whether you're running around or fighting, the playstyle is just tired. The interface is subpar, laggy, and unintuitive. 
Traversing terrain hits the snag when you come to hills and cliffs. Typically, you can't climb over or fall down steep inclines. It doesn't help that there isn't an option to just outright jump, and it's all too easy to get caught up on invisible objects or impeded by obstacles you'd think you could easily climb over. Combat doesn't fare better. Though it adopts an interface and system superficially similar to other mainstream MMOs, there are more than a few hiccups. What should be a simple process of selecting a course of action can quickly turn into an ugly mess. Too many times a spell or ability takes longer than advertised to execute, and the targeting system is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> You'll also have to contend with bugs. Monsters can randomly regenerate health or become rendered invalid targets midway through a battle. It's chaotic and inconsistent overall. I'm frightened. All will be well soon. Field activities like mining or fishing employ unique mechanics that are fun to an extent, but figuring out their inner workings is an aggravating process of trial and error. Synthesis takes the confusion one step further with its obscure system that feels like it relies on blind luck more often than not. The paltry explanations the game provides don't give enough insight into how to craft successfully, and the entire process is too cumbersome. When you realize that crafting is pretty much your only alternative to questing and grinding, the dismal nature of the game's prospects come into clear view. Oh, my head. Things are a mess right now, and given how tedious much of the game is, having to fight the controls and mechanics pushes things to the breaking point. You can put up with it and get by if you're irrationally determined, but it doesn't change the fact that Final Fantasy XIV was released in a state that's completely unacceptable for a finished product. One area that 14 excels at is the visuals. Ah, I knew today wouldn't be all bad. If you have a machine capable of running the game at the highest settings, you're in for the occasional treat. That said, the developers used more than a few tricks to achieve this. Close scrutiny of the environments reveals that they're comprised of simple building blocks that in many cases appear to have been extensively reused. Running back and forth is already tedious, so having to look at the same valleys or hills constantly doesn't help. The load times for on-screen objects is irksome in general, too. Nobuo Uematsu's score is one of the game's few high points. The looping melodies put their stamp on their respective vistas without grating on your nerves. The same can't be said for the sound effects. Get ready to listen to the endless pitter-patter of your feet. It's one very annoying sound, and though it can be muted in the options, doing so also kills all the other sound effects. The small batch of voice work during cinematic sequences is dreadful, but the bulk of the experience still relies on text bubbles. Final Fantasy XIV is in no way, shape, or form ready for commercial release. We suppose there is potential down the line for the experience to improve with patches and tweaks, but that doesn't justify why the game is in such shambles at launch. There are too many good MMOs on the market for you to spend your time and money on this broken, incomplete mess. Ooh, 12 be good.